Hello everyone, welcome back to the National Hockey Centre here in Glasgow. Grandmasters European Cup brought to you by the WGMA. And the final game is a game which both these sides thought they might have a chance. It went through to the semi-finals, the over 60s European Cup, but we're into the crossover games between the sides, between 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. Uh, and this is the, to the side who finishes in those placings. Wales needed a win against the Dutch to get through. It was always going to be a tough task. For the Spanish, it was more agonising. The draw against Ireland wasn't enough to see them through. So Spain were third in their pool, Wales fourth. Let's look at the sides involved then for this one. Well, he just got us up, doesn't start, but he was the man that got the goal, which Spain gave uh, them a chance to get through, but it was in vain in the end. The captain is Miguel Chavez. Josie Borrell is the manager and they're looking to try and finish as high as they can now, now they can't reach the semi-finals. <laughs> well, for the Welsh side, Steve Sparks has been lively for them with three goals. They've had some high scoring games including the 3-0 draw at Scotland which might have actually cost both of them in the end getting through. The captain for the side is Richard Evans. Dave Tipper, the goalkeeper, Chris Hills, is their manager. Wales, I think, in a way, are going to be playing with uh, their, their team spirit. Also, looking for a poor performance for one of their teammates, uh, Mike Powell, who's had to go home with a, a back injury. Maybe he'll probably watch their cover, so hold to you. I am Callum Patterson, your match commentator. Great to have you with us on Facebook, Twitter and on the YouTube channel. Wales and the red. to start off on Beaumont on there in the chase back it comes for Sean Sutton Stephen Drolley there it goes Sparks looking to get in behind very quickly the loft was too high. A bright start from Wales here in the torrential rain once again at the National Hockey Centre. Also taking place at the moment in the crossovers, Belgium against Scotland is the other game that's over in pitch two, bringing updates from uh, the very fun Belgian side against Scotland. That one hasn't started yet, that'll be getting underway in the next few minutes. Evans trying to go down that channel, skiffed up a bit high from the Welsh captain.
Zaydarin trying to break that one back, but you from Spain looking for the ball was Jose Valverde. Too much on that ball. Dolbon's pass is cut out. Robin Davis gets it back for his well side. Up by Inigo Espinosa. Here's Alejandro Fabregas. So that one goes straight out and we also get it in a good spot. Not a shove there, which means Davis gets the free hit. for strikes or attempted to anyway. Ball, can you give me a hand for Sykes? Sykes is ball. players coming. I can tell you there was a game uh, just before this one on pitch two. It was the other two teams that were involved in both group stages, the ninth and 10th place playoff. It's first in a draw between France and Italy, two uh, bottom sides in the competition. France took the lead in the 52nd minute through Hubert Chavaron. But uh, go back from Piero Birgon in the last three minutes, salvage the 1 1. Yeah. A solid start from both sides, fairly even. Males, maybe. Slight edge in the first few minutes. Spain trying to gather some ball. Here's Francesco Roman. And the way in here's Beaumont. Cross to Davis. Zaydarin. Lovely ball. Slipped across towards Lane. Lane might get it back, not quite linking up there with Drowley. Penalty corner though being signalled. And Wales have the first one of the game. Almost eight minutes gone. Umpire just uh, telling Josie Valverde of the crime. Umpires are uh, Jacques Quarles van Uffert of the Netherlands and Bruce Hockey of Australia. Uh, 
So it is Robin Davis to inject here. It's trapped for Arane. By the goal. Set up nicely for him to drill. And they've given it away very quickly, Spain here. Go one with the free hit. Davis across. John O'Reilly. Very squelchy the pitch. Rain is absolutely teeming it down again here. A little rest bite for an hour, hour and a half or so. Riley's ball is stolen. Miguel Chavez, captain. Ramon Algarri, Chavez. Chavez trying to turn. Penalty corner to Spain. to corner, so they cross here for Salvatella, Valverde around, Valverde around too as well, Jose Vila, slip from O'Reilly, and unfortunately for the Welshman, another penalty corner to come to Spain. Ramon Allegri to Inject here again. Comes across, it comes to have a tail once more. Off the foot, was it? No, it's fair and square, says the umpire. And Wales come away with it. Charlie Lane across, and we counter. Drowley to rain. Fabregas. Rain looking for a free hit, but umpire says that was fine. John O'Reilly trying to get back. There's Chavez across there looking for a pass. Wriggles through for Espinosa. Flick on, it's kicked away. Good effort from Allegri. Kicked away by Tipper. Just snuck through there for Spain. Martin. Vila. Vila to get it across but bounced it off the foot there of Chavez. <laughs> Spain have certainly came into it more as the minutes have went on in this first quarter.
Sparks. Taken by Martin. That was done by Espinosa, and that's went against the Spanish player. Full flick to O'Reilly. Through the legs of Blaine, but could be stopped behind by Beaumont. Offer from Chavez and Gurusep, the top goal scorer, couldn't quite get through. Gurusep, uh, joint top goal scorer, he is really. Because he's uh, level with Ramon Allegri. Two goals in the competition. Got a set goals that came from penalty corners. No sense, got one from open play. from Beaumont, away from the Spanish. Drowley just played that across and Davis was there to help. Final minute of the quarter. be the end of the quarter. Spain nil, Wales nil in this crossover game. It has been a, a first quarter which has been physical, it's been fairly even, but no goals so far.
Second quarter underway in the final game on this Friday. Fairly wet Friday, maybe we'll nickname it. And then we'll get into the Super Saturday and Sunday action tomorrow. There's been some good stuff, some maybe more tight stuff today. Perty Corner has been given here. Not a shove, I think. The message from the umpire, Alejandro Fabregas. And the Spanish who are a bit heated and they were getting a bit heated towards the end of the game against Ireland after our game finish against Scotland and Germany match go and catch the last few minutes and they were boiling over a little bit with the frustrations and they have got uh, penalty corner they'll have to defend here Bob Beaumont to inject as he's heading across 25 seconds into the second quarter It's trapped for Arain and kicked away or need away, whatever you want to call it, from the keeper. Josie Ruiz is the person in the sticks for Spain. One corner then for O'Reilly. Skills there. Well, they've been doing well. 3D skills of superb quality, but in the end, the turnover. Wheels look to find their next attack. Rain's ball. Sparks trying to thread through. Trying to quickly catch the Spanish off guard. Now they're resetting defensively. Lane couldn't quite grapple. from Allegri Jose Vila it's a penalty corner to Spain Jose Vila happy about that he was celebrating that he'd scored with that decision but they do have a penalty corner Ramon Allegri to inject Vila Chavez does a little dance with his feet, plays it across, and the effort goes over. And a Welsh ball signalled by the umpire. There's the dancing feet there of Miguel Chavez. <coughs> plays it across for Harry Martin. Thank 
are in. Beaumont. Don't find anyone in red. Away comes Allegri. Weave has answer from Chavez into the circle. Vantage and goal. Set up Miguel Chavez with the run and one lop with the finish. And it is Spain who lead this crossover game. So close to the semi finals. The game they didn't want to play, but they are in front here. Manlop's second goal of the tournament. Scotland against Belgium is underway. Behind us on pitch two there, a bit behind. Eighth minute, nil nil there between those two. Oh, and Wales have broken through here. Played across for Sparks. And that's very quickly 1 1. Lane and Sparks combining to take the ball on after they win it back fortuitously. And very quickly, we are back all square again. Goal number four for Steve Sparks in this competition. Going through here, mess up after mess up. <laughs> We've got another goal. And wriggled through. I don't know, they're trying to argue, I think who's going to claim the credit for it. But one lop in the right place at the right time again. Just dotting it in. Good work as well from Jesus Gorisip. And well, Blinker and I, it's 2 1. Ball flying again, Sparks didn't quite get there. For an epic few minute period. One lot with uh, two goals. And Steve Sparks with one for Wales. Back lane out wide for Drowley. Oh, oh that was uh, a slight by Francisco Roman. A rain back to Drowley. Lane. Sparks. 
Oh, sparking into life this second quarter. Two for Sparks, two for Lop. What a few minutes this has been. So then, 2-2. Two, two. What a... What a... What a... Wacky few minutes it has been. Great entertainment. Certainly the side with a bit less pressure. Obviously want to finish as high as they can. And try and finish as well as they can. After the semi-final semi point. Maybe less so for Wales because... Although they had some other two strong performances including it to Scots. The... Uh, Always saw the lower in the second, had a tough chance against the Dutch. Spain, they took the lead and then they were pegged back, couldn't find a winner against Ireland, who only needed a draw, a bit like Scotland against Germany yesterday. But so maybe a bit freer a game and the entertainment has been certainly in this quarter. Chavez. Cross it comes here for Valverde. Up off a Welsh player, and that will be a penalty corner to Spain. <laughs> Steve Sparks, two goals, but I'm just listening. You might well have heard, actually. He's talking about his defence being absolutely shocking. No, could we say there have been a bit of shocking defender for both sides at some of those goals anyway penalty corner is injected in and it's a third goal for Spain penalty corner scored by the captain Miguel Chavez five goals in just over what six minutes Extraordinary, exciting, entertainment. Two sides fairly evenly matched. Umpire having a conversation with one of the Welsh players. And there we again then. If you thought this might be like this after the 0 0 first 15 minutes where it was a bit physical but decently paced, then. Well, good luck to you. That's been given away again here for Jesus Goraseb. Rattling off the stick of Sutton. Two and a half minutes then until half time. Not the goal for about a minute and a half. What's going on? Chavez. Going to pick out a ball. Got a step there, kicked away. I tell you, Belgium have leading at Scotland in the game behind us, and that might be a surprise. Belgium have been uh, they're scoring goals that have not really looked like winning too many games, but Michel Kelwart has, has scored. 
So one 0 that's just finished the end of the first quarter. Into the uh, second shortly. Into the final minute or just a little over left. And here's Chavez. As it comes for Rategui. Spanish free hit. Chavez Gorosepe was there. As was a couple of others, including Villa. But no penalty for Gorosepe coming despite the protests. Looking up is Lane. Arain now in front. One back though by the Spanish. Oh, Verde. Oh, here's Chavez. It's through. And it's another goal for Spain. Another goal for him. What an incredible quarter it's been. It's going to come to an end. Six goals scored in it. Spain have four. And the ball through for Miguel Chavez. Was delightful. What a finish it was as well. That is half time. And uh, well. Incredible. It was 0-0 after, what, 19 minutes? And then a goal from Jan Lopp. Made it 1-0 Spain. Very quickly, Steve Sparks equalised. Lopp then went at the other end, made it 2-1. Sparks for 2-2. And then Miguel Chavez with a penalty corner. And then with that open play finish, there we are. Plenty of highlights to look over. You can enjoy them. We'll have a break. Spain 4, Wales 2.
Welcome back. About to get started for the third quarter. Spires looking to get going before the umpires are even ready to blow their whistle. Both sides keen to get going with entertainment for the third quarter. They had a lot in that second quarter. Six goals. Match that if you can, fellas. Match that if you can. Spain off to who it's up. Oh! Lartetegi with the ball in. And it almost furled through for a goal inside. First 30 seconds or so from Jose Valverde. So the second quarter was a bit like basketball at times. Chavez, Valverde, trying to get there, but it went, and Crowley. possession early in this uh, third quarter. Into the tucker and goals kicked away. Chavez looking to wheel away. And it goes. And well saved. Spain looking to try and get a fifth goal here. Five minutes of no rain, but it's back. Great to see it again. Here's under a lot of early quarter pressure here. It's clear but only towards half a unfortunate slide though there from Valverde. Chavez having to watch out. Oh, 
has been given back as our last ball and Beaumont looking for Arain back it comes with Javier Martin down that side for Spain is Josie Valverde Allegri Beaumont comes away with it for Wales That looking for Griffiths, but back for the Spanish in the white tops. Drowley across to try and defend there, and here he is spotted that ball coming. That'll be a turnover. Wheels forward, looking that football ball through as Sparks. Absolutely horrendous conditions. I know we're having a weather report by the five minute zone here, but this is quite uncomfortable being the worst day weather wise. But at least Spain and Wales have put on a terrific game. Doesn't mean an awful lot in terms of finals and prizes and stuff like that, semi-finals, but uh, with the slight relaxation that they're just playing for 58th, maybe with some poor defending at times, we're getting some entertainment. Davis back with O'Reilly. The good thing is the water well here at the National Hockey Centre will be a lot lower than normally. Just, they've got to hose the pitch today, have they? Have it from the skies. One or two peeps the whistle are getting a bit more severe. Some little frustrations for the umpires. Spain have this back from deep with Bayo Cheka. Martin for Spain is cut out by John O'Reilly. Rain left it for Davis. Uh, obstruction. Martin quickly turning there for Spain is Lartegui. of balls as Josie Vila is on the run. Well, half time another game by the way. It looks like it could be an interesting and surprising scoreline to many. Jean Louis Perry has given the Belgians a 2-0 lead against Scotland, another crossover game. Conditions getting really stretched as ball is hardly rolling true now. Given back to Josie Vila. Spanish free hit. Two goals, him and Sparks, two apiece, within a few minutes for each other. Miguel Chavez with a couple as well, so two goals for Chavez, two goals for Lop, two goals for Sparks. 
Noah's Ark is coming. from lock to Juan Chavez Lop Spanish ball still over four minutes left in this quarter Chavez to Martin Rattles off Griffith's legs Cut out a rain, ball just sticking around on the surface. Come back by Wales Davis. Griffiths running back with his stick hitting the ball, but him losing the stick. stuff there from Fabregas and Price didn't uh, come into huge effect as they got it away in Spain and here's Davis now for Wales comes through for Charlie Lane that comes through from O'Reilly but no one getting a touch in red one back here Perkins helped on its way through but Fabregas to try and clear it Arrain doing his best to get it back It 
is the end of the quarter. Well, two quarters with no goals, one in the middle with six goals. Six goals next quarter then. All right, maybe not, but anyway, 4-2 it is to Spain. The goals haven't came in this period. The rain has came uh, past three the knots. It's made the things a little bit more trickier for the players, but still 15 to play. Spain have the two-goal cushion. Underway then for this final quarter. And Spain with that two goal cushion. After the crazy second quarter before half time. First ball, here's Davis. Looking for a Driscoll. Lots of players surrounding that little spot. Belgium still leaves Scotland behind us by a couple of goals to nil. Give a penalty corner. Infringements go or creeping in. Umpires had enough patience wise. Fifth goal, I think we'd probably get the job done. You would think. Miguel Chavez in the middle. Will he go for power, maybe for a hat trick? Scored from a penalty corner member. It's a different routine. Martin. That's an injector. The umpire blows up the Spanish there. Davis. 
Fox step forward, leaning out, he's rattled through, he's got a hat off his foot. So here's Perkins looking for a bit of help. We has got one back, it could be in for some finale. That's a decent ball across the baseline. Well for Tegi to clear though. And Chavez further forward. Chavez just lofts it. Definitely over Sutton. Searching ball, it's going to be a bit of a chase for the two opposite numbers of Villa and Perkins. And Perkins knows he can leave it. Martin almost got back to Gorosepe. He's uh, not scored yet, shock for him. Just like to score for the Spanish side. going to I mean, deliver something. Riley came away with it but ran into a couple of white bodies eventually. Nice flip back there from Chavez. Ten to play in this one. Spain four, Wales two. All six goals coming in that Second quarter. Ryan Lop and Steve Sparks exchanging goals in a five minute period, and then Miguel Chavez a minute later in the penalty corner for getting another goal in the final minute of the second period. Go back against Belgium through Derek Johnston. 2 1 over on pitch two. They're uh, 10 minutes or so at least behind us. Really down that channel ball, flicked up towards Lane. Lane there for Sykes, penalty corner signalled to the Welsh. Josie Borrell down in the sidelines for Spain was anxiously looking at the umpires about that decision, but given. Davis waiting to inject for Wales. They get one back. Sparks and Davis is a waste. Big moment for them possibly in the game, in the final stages of the game.
try and get to break with Espinosa. Cross from Javier Martin. Seven minutes left. We also need at least a couple of goals here. Can it rescue us something? We're only trying to continue on its way. Got another free hit here, Wales. Because it comes to Lord Beaumont at some pace. Spain now look at this gap here. Chavez for Gorosepe. Just taking his time because he's absolutely no help. So look at all the Wales bodies back. Here's Chavez though. Oh, controlled. Espinosa. Gorosepe just behind him. One law Patrick, is it? Gorosepe's there. It's just cleared away off the line. Wales surviving just there. Despite all the defenders getting back. One ball out to that far side caused so many problems. That still remains 4 2. That was part of the plan, but Tipper keeping it in to try and keep the play going. That ball of volume is going to find Fabregas. Allegri. Space here again. And from Lop. Espinosa. Penalty corner. Five and a half minutes left on the clock here. Spain have been the better side as the game has went on after obviously taking a 4 2 lead. And Ramon Allegri to inject here. Comes for Miguel Chavez, oh powerful Chavez once more and doesn't get his hat trick at the moment anyway, darting away for a long corner. Javi Martin flicks up towards Gorosepe but uh, free hit awarded. So back it'll come with Martin. Fabregas. Got a sepe. It's going to have another penalty corner. Coming off the foot. Think of Sean Sutton. Wales just know that the game's getting away from them. The time is getting away from them. The pressure continues to come from. The Spanish year. Well, I agree once more with the uh, injection here. Chavez across. Martin well away from the goal. Free hit taken quickly, a rain. Just too much power there for Sparks.
Here's a ring. Twist and a turn. Sparks shaping up to shoot. Penalty corner going against Francesco Roman. If he also wants to get this now, it would be some final three minutes. Beavis to inject. O'Reilly. Sparks! Cleared off the line. That was high anyway. Straight into the path of the defender who managed to clear it away. It will be a turnover. Marine managed to pick that up very quickly. And that was a stick coming in. Card shown here. Ball being kicked, yellow card. See you later for the rest of the game. Spin down to 10. Ball down to Sparks. Just about behind that pass. Davis. Beaumont. Arain attempted crossing was blocked. Come on, that was off Chavez, it's fair and square, but O'Reilly, Mark of Wales. contest. Martin's ball is just in the head to that corner and it waves goodbye to the second. Belgium 2, Scotland 1 still in another game. It's probably got about 12-13 minutes left that one. towards front again time almost up for the Welsh and that will probably be that so it's a side that were heartbroken by the Irish yesterday that will take the win in this crossover game Spain winning against Wales by four goals to two a terrific game particularly in that second quarter where all the goals came one lot with two goals within a few minutes of each other. Sparks equalising both times for 2 2. Miguel Chavez then scored from a penalty corner in the 26th minute before a further goal right in the stroke of half time sealed the win for the Spanish. And there was no other goals in the remainder, although it was a, a good watch. And probably saved the best to last, actually, in all the games we've had today on pitch one. Do keep up to date and check out what happens uh, elsewhere with uh, the game between Belgium and Scotland. It is 2-1 to Belgium, but they're just ahead into that final quarter. And that just about wraps up our coverage today. We've seen uh, some mixed of coverage 
We're starting with the swarm with over 17 for Scotland defeating Belgium. The Lions GM side winning against Scotland. We also had the tournament trophy game with the LX Red. We'll play the LX White once more. Both the English teams. Germany and the Alliance and the over 75 Germany winning comfortably in the end. In this game was an exciting 4-2 win for the Spanish. Tomorrow's lineup is a busy one. We're getting into the business end. Six games for you. Starting with England against Ireland and over 65's European Cup. We've got tournament trophy action as well from the LX Reds against the Netherlands Orange over 65's. And also we've got the two semi-finals and over 60's competition as well. We've got the final from the tournament trophy over 70s and we've got England against the LX Cities in the women's over 60s competition. So that is your feast for Saturday. Do join us if you can, Brighton early from just before 9am. But we will leave you from our coverage here at the National Hockey Centre from a production base as well. We'll see you tomorrow morning. From myself, Carl Patterson, it's good evening. <laughs>